The Pinnacle Lumbar and TLSO braces have universal sizing and patient-centric features. To size the patient, start by measuring the patient's waist circumference at the top of the pelvis. Next, reference the instructions for use to determine which size to adjust the waist belt to. This patient falls into size 2 according to the chart. It's recommended to size the waist belt in a seated position so you can lay the product flat and have easier access to the sizing components. Start by folding the hood out of the way, then lift one corner of the back cover. Flip the belt panel upside down. Now you're able to see the various size indicators on the central strip of the belt panel. Separate the plastic piece from the belt panel and move the edge of the waist belt to match the appropriate size number and reattach. Then, lay this belt panel back where it originally was and close the back cover. Ensure that the back cover is pulled tightly as you engage the hook and loop at the bottom corner of the back cover. Repeat those steps on the other side in the exact same way as the first belt panel. Again, ensure that the back cover is pulled tightly as you engage the hook and loop at the bottom corner of the back cover. The final step to perform before fitting the product on the patient is to pull both sides out equally to center the laser system. Now we are going to show the process when a patient's waist measurement aligns with size 4, 5, or 6. All of the steps are the same. Pull back the corner of the back cover, Flip the belt panel upside down, separate the plastic piece from the belt panel and remove the square of double-sided hook material. Then completely remove the belt panel from the lower slot or inner slot position and replace it in the outer slot position. Then move the edge of the waist belt to match the appropriate size number and reattach. Repeat the same steps for the other side. To apply the lumbar products, start by opening up the belt and positioning the lacer poles as close to the lacer system as possible. Pull both belt panels out to achieve the maximum lacer system extension. To apply the product, approach the patient from their back and identify the patient's L5-S1 joint. Apply the lumbar belt with the bottom edge at that point. The patient is going to complete the application process by taking the left belt panel and laying that down first, and then taking the right belt panel and overlapping to secure the hook and loop together. The final step to the application process is for the patient to take the pull handles, pull them out and away from their body, and then wrap them down and engage the hook and loop at the desired compression level. The Pinnacle Lumbar products come with adjustable lower dotic pads that can be moved around to accommodate the patient's anatomy. Those lower dotic pads can be accessed by removing the belt and reaching inside the window on the back pad. Again, these lower dotic pads are only available with the Pinnacle Lumbar products. We'll replace the pads on a Pinnacle 637 model, but the process is the same on all of the Pinnacle Lumbar products. Start by removing the hood on the back of the Pinnacle Lumbar product. This hood can be discarded if you're replacing it on a 631 or 637 model. However, on the 627 model, you're going to reuse the same hood. Next, lift the back cover and fold it out of the way. Pull the waist belt assembly out and set it aside. Take the back plate assembly, disengage the hook and loop dots at the top of the plate from the loop material on the back pad. Pull it out, 
and set it aside. Discard the used back pad. Take the replacement back pad, fold the back cover out of the way, then slide the back plate through the slot at the top of the back pad assembly. Make sure the lower dotic pads are in the same position as they were previously. Take the waist belt assembly, ensuring that the Bregg logo is oriented correctly, and lay it back over the top of the back plate assembly. Ensure that the back cover is pulled tightly as you engage the hook and loop at the bottom edge of the back cover. Finally, replace the hood by sliding it over the back plate extension and re-engaging the hook and loop. To install the waist belt extensions on the Pinnacle Lumbar products, start by opening up the brace and laying it out face down in front of you. Take one of the corners of the back cover and disengage the hook and loop. Flip the belt panel upside down, separate the plastic piece from the belt panel, remove the double-sided hook and set aside. Pull the belt panel out of the slot. Now, attach the belt panel to the waist belt extension, ensuring the blue strips are aligned. Reinstall belt panel at the desired length. Flip the entire assembly back over. Ensure that the back cover is pulled tightly as you engage the hook and loop at the bottom corner of the back cover. Repeat these steps on the other side to complete the installation. Now you've successfully installed the extension panels to the Pinnacle waist belt. Hand wash pads in cold water with a mild detergent. Rinse and air dry. Carefully read fitting instructions and warnings prior to use. To ensure proper performance of the product, follow all instructions. If you experience or have an increase in pain, swelling, skin irritation, or any adverse reactions while using this product, immediately consult your licensed healthcare professional. This device will not prevent or reduce all injuries. Proper rehabilitation and activity modification are also an essential part of a safe treatment program. Consult your licensed healthcare professional regarding safe and appropriate activity level while wearing this device.